to introduce you to some of these amazing students, Jacqueline Perez, Constance Berry Rowland, Annie Quijada, Emily Cherian, Leo Verone, and Ronnie Bauer, one of the STEM teachers here. Uh, Ronnie, where do you start? The ideas that these kids have, where do they come up with this stuff? The ideas are amazing. The, the more we can get out of the way and let them collaborate, uh, it's amazing the things they can do. Are you surprised with the relationships that they built with one another that one can have an idea, the others jump on board and they create something special? It's I, I've been working with them for multiple years from 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and it's it's great to see the relationships they built and the work that they can do together. Thank you success, man. You have got an impressive bunch here. Leo, I want to talk to you. We talked about hydroponics and all the great science elements to all the different programs here. You're just, you're right on board, right? Yeah, all the science programs we have here are, they provide us with an amazing opportunity to grow and further our careers in the STEM field, and it's amazing, especially for people like me who want to go into the STEM field when we graduate. What's been the most fascinating aspect of this? Uh, specifically our research class, where we gotta, we really get to flex our brains, yeah. whereas we get to do a lot of these sort of out there experiments and really get to have these amazing opportunities with outside programs, doing these big research projects. It's overall really amazing. Awesome, man. It was great to meet you the other day. Thank you very much, Leo. Emily, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, I mean, you guys, the ideas you come up with and the fact that there's so much, like Family Steam Night, for instance, there's so much interest there. I mean, it's just amazing how many, how much stuff we're allowed to do together. And it's really all the support that we get from our community that really, like, helps and supports this. Did you ever think that, that the STEM program and STEAM Family Night, for instance, would get the, the type of attention and support that it does from not only the students, but the faculty, everybody? I know. I mean, like, it's very worthy of that attention. Yeah. We work very hard as a community to help um, help our community and kind of inspire them. Yeah, that, so. that you do. That you do. Thanks so much, hon. And let me ask you, we talked about the lines out the door with the little kids that see the projects you're working on. The ideas you come up with, it's pretty nuts. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, I like, you know, bonding with children. I think children are a big thing, and, you know, helping them and doing creative things that, you know, intrigue them is really important. And what's it like on a family STEAM night? I keep bringing that up because it's kind of like the annual prom. Uh, you've got kids, lines out the door, and they're just fascinated with the ideas that you guys have come up with. I mean, it was, it was really important. It was, like, special, you know, seeing that so many kids wanted to be in our project and you know it's something that we work so hard for and yeah. seeing kids really want to do it really made our work be more and more, more. Thank you Andy. Constance, when I talked to you the other day you just your, your face lights up when we talk about these science projects and all the different ideas that you guys have in these kind of brainstorming sessions. What's it like being able to collaborate with your fellow students and come up with these great ideas? It's amazing. You know STEM is something that I feel can't be done alone and it's so great to get to come together with them, share all ideas and make such an impact in our community. Yeah. Um, you've got a great student body here. I, I've never seen so much support, so many kids that are so in love with the STEM programs, and, and I keep bringing up STEAM Family Night, but every time I hear about it, everybody talks about it like it's the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, it's amazing. It's one of my favorite things that our school does. I don't really know of any other schools that treat it as seriously as ours, and it just makes me so happy to see all the little kids and the older kids coming together to collaborate. Yeah, continue success, guys. It's really a pleasure meeting you. Jacqueline, I want to ask you something. We call you the Jack of all trades because you're involved in so much from the sensory walk which was basically your idea and you helped put it together to all the different programs you're involved in what's it like having so much responsibility at such a young age it's just so much fun i really enjoy keeping myself busy and just sharing like everything i do with like the community and i think it's very rewarding um, is there anything that you haven't done yet that you're looking to accomplish before you get out of this place oh uh, we have a broadcasting class and i think we're going to do like a live broadcast of like the school news so that's going to be fun really you want to be a news anchor yeah we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do it, do it. we, we may have a job for you you never know <laughs> hey it's a pleasure to meet you continued success and best of luck jacqueline we're going to toss it to break here it is an incredible class act friday from west Hempstead secondary school this student body so so impressive we'll be right back right after this with more from long island